Hey guys, Rudy Hernandez here. Thanks for checking in. Uh, if you're digging the mask, uh, go ahead and check out this company. I'm not sponsored by them, anything like that. Just, uh, you know, putting a good word in for them. They got a lot of cool products. Uh, check them out on Instagram. I'll put the link below. Other than that, guys, jumping right into it. Uh, a few days ago, or about a week ago, I made a video regarding, uh, I guess, somewhat officer safety crash course. I kind of wanted to, I found a video from uh, some time back. I've been trying to look for it online. I can't find it anymore. Luckily, I was able to get a copy of it. Uh, the quality is not that great, but um, it's it's the message is still there. Um, the person on there uh, survived a shooting. It was kind of like a, a major turning point. Uh, he's a, an FBI agent uh, back in the 80s. Uh, if you guys, uh, I'll put some information down below so you guys can look at the uh, background information there. Um, I think the message there, you know, it's it's big on mindset and as far as just a lot of stuff that I talk about that I'm big on is a uh, will to survive and uh, whatnot. But yeah, jumping right into it, guys. I think the will to survive basically just says it all. As I was reminiscing about the incident, I was reminded of a part of a poem by Dylan Thomas. It's a poem about dying and it goes, do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of a light. That poem had some impact on me as a young man. And I guess that you could say that I was raging against the dying of the light on April 11th. What I'm trying to say is that you have to be mentally prepared for a possible violent confrontation. And if you are shot or injured, it does not necessarily mean that you will die. I was wounded twice and I knew that my injury, the injury to my left arm was serious, but it was not immediately life-threatening. So I just basically ignored it. Gordon McNeil received two wounds, one wound to the chest, a K-5 hit, and he is still alive. Maddox was shot six times before he died. Platt was shot 12 times before he died. John Hanlon was wounded three or four times and he is still alive today. So the point here is that just because you are injured does not mean that you are going to die. You should also remember that if you shoot or injure your subject, it does not mean that he is going to die either, even if you shoot him one or two times. So it works both ways. I can say with some authority that if you give up, if you lay down to die, then that is exactly what will happen. You will die. If you give up the will to live, then I don't know how to describe it. Your spirit, whatever, will dissipate. It will disappear. That's, that's number one. Number two, if you lay down to die, then most probably the subject that got you in the first place is going to come around the corner, come around the car, whatever, and he is going to shoot you point blank, and you will die. To die, the message is you will die. You have got to maintain the will to live. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts, any uh, questions, ideas, things like that, go ahead and put them in the comments below or DM me as usual. As always, I appreciate you. Thank you and stay safe. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm still here. Are you still with me? Yeah.